Hello there. Today I am going to show you instant photo editing technique in camera raw filter. So let's get started. So we are going to work with this photo as the photo is not in centered and very oddly cropped we are going to crop it again We have done our cropping so hit ok here and now I am going to take a copy of this layer to check the before and after and I am going to make it to smart object. Now I am going to open the camera raw filter. From camera raw filter I am going to make the initial color grading here. After the initial color grading, I will make the lighting direction and everything later. So let's get started the basic color grading. From the temperature, I am increasing a bit. And from tint, I am decreasing a bit. From the exposure part, I am going to decrease it a bit and highlights also will be decreased. And from the white parts, white will be increased a bit. And shadow also will be increased and contrast, I am going to give a negative contrast here. We can decrease the highlights more. And here we can increase the blacks. From the texture part, we can decrease the texture around negative 2 and increase the clarity around positive 2. And from DH, we can increase the DH. Here from vibrance we can increase it and can decrease the saturation a bit. Now from curve part we can decrease the shadow part and we can increase the highlights. Here we can increase the shadow on the tail of this shadow part. And from the red channel, we can decrease the shadow and increasing the reds as well as on the green channel. And finally on the blue channel. Now from details part, we can go to, we can increase the sharpening a bit and increasing the noise reduction around and color noise reduction will be around 20. Now on the color mixture, this is the main part of color grading because you can increase or decrease any particular color here. So I am going for the saturation first and here I am increasing the reds, orange also decreasing the yellow and decreasing the greens as well and here we can increase the echoes a bit 
and decrease the blues. Now from luminance part, we can increase the orange a bit and increase the red also. And we can increase the yellows also. Greens, aquas and blues also will be increased. Now from hue part, we can give a negative green and a negative yellow and a negative aquas and blues as well. So here from color grading we can give a bluish type shadow and a yellowish type highlights. Now from the effects option we can give a bit of big knitting effect. And from the color calibration, we can increase the saturation of green primary. And we can decrease the saturation of blue primary. And decrease the saturation of red primary also. So here we have done the initial color grading. Now we are going to apply a few more things on camera raw filter. Firstly, I am taking the graduated filter from here and we are seeing here all the values are given but we will make all the zero here. Now everything is okay. Now drag the graduated filter from the bottom right like this and decrease the exposure we are seeing the light is coming from right side therefore we are going to set the light direction from this right side Here we can increase the shadows and decrease the highlights and decrease the whites and giving a bit of blacks. And from here, I am desaturating this part. Now I am going to take another graduated filter on the upper side like this. So here we can increase the exposure a bit and I'm taking another graduated filter on this left side like this. And for this left side, I'm desaturating this for this blue color. Now 
Now I'm going to take the radial filter for the face here and just take a radial on the face. Here make all the values zero by double clicking here. Now from this face part, we can give a bit of temperature. And we can decrease the highlights and increase the whites. We can take a bit of shadows. and we can increase the saturation a bit now let's check the before and after so here is the before and after we made by applying few techniques on camera raw filter so this is all about today's tutorial hope you have learned these techniques so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and keep liking and commenting to support me more. Thank you very much.